so here's an update on my five gallon fluval chi. My neon tetras are swimming together and schooling a lot better. They've kind of all grown up. I got them young because I prefer to buy my aquatics creatures young so that they have time to adapt to their water before they hit their adult life. So now that they're all kind of maturing, they're getting along a lot better. The guppies are all pretty healthy. Except for Black Guppy, my favorite one, he's back here in the corner. He had about a fin rot the other week. You'll probably see his tail. You can see a section that he lost his coloration in. But I turned up the temperature in the aquarium to 80 instead of 76. Added a little bit of salt and a little bit of bicarbonate. Hardened up the water. He's doing a lot better now. You can see the split in his tail, but he's still healing. His colors come back a lot since he was sick. My Java Moss tree is doing really well. In fact, I noticed it purling the other day when the sunlight was directly hitting it, so that was impressive. I didn't know Java Moss could purl. My shrimp are doing well. I just added some spinach to the tank, so you're going to see all sorts of shrimp running around right now. I've got two big leaves down on the bottom for the shrimp. And then I always hang one up top for the fish, but usually what winds up happening is the shrimp that can't compete with the big guys down on the bottom eat off the one that's hanging on the side. So either way, it works out for everything involved. Now I have noticed I've had a lot of shrimp molting recently. And you'll see a couple of exoskeletons down here. There's a shrimp munching on one. There's one in there, two of them you can see, there's a bunch of shrimp back here on my java moss.